What? What is that supposed to prove? Forgetting a PYT like me. Honestly, Asahi, when did you become such a lusty playboy? Anyway, I'll just let the guilt eat away at you for a while. Bye bye Hey, wait! The heck was that? I have this vague recollection of her, I think, but... Oh, I just can't place her. <laughs> so your playboy nature isn't just limited to maids, is it? You're a menace to any pretty girl you see. And you don't even remember her name. Does that mean you'll forget me and Saki someday, too? What? No, I mean, there's... there's no way. It's not like that. I just... legitimately don't know that girl. Honest. Come on, there are more important things to worry about right now. Like finding the man in the pink cape. There's not a moment to lose, right? Let's go, people. Back to the investigation. Good point. Time is of the essence. Come on, Ryu. You and I will continue this ourselves. Okay, by me. The two of us can rescue Moe on our own, no problem. Let's go. Huh? But wait! Don't leave me behind. Hey, a clothing store! Wonder if they have anything in my size. over that way, probably headed to Main Street. Oh, what? Thank you very much! It would be pointless to try again. This is a real pickle. Um, excuse me, is something wrong? Oh, no, no. I've just grown a bit worried. I'm the manager of this figurine shop, you see, and it feels like my customer base has been, well, shrinking of late. Shrinking? Hmm, you don't think? Yeah, we could have a potential deluser situation on our hands. Let's pick his brain a bit. Sir, I was just wondering, is your shop in danger of closing as a result of your low customer base? Mm, not exactly. It's not an immediate concern, at least. But if things keep up like this, it could become one. If it's all right with you, could I ask for a few more details about your specific situation? <laughs> well, that, that's a rather odd thing to ask. It's fine, I suppose, but it'll just be me grumbling for 20 minutes or so. These days, everyone's buying things off the internet, so I've been trying to come up with some ways to up my numbers. One of the ways to do that, I realized, was to try targeted marketing towards female customers. That makes sense. In my experience, when women find something they like, they stick with it for a long time. Right. Characters popular for even the shortest of time still have lesions of female fans utterly devoted to them. So I, uh, figured I'd start steadily targeting women with my figurine orders. And the shipments began pouring in. But I'm not exactly a ladies' man. I guess you could say I've built it, but they haven't come. 
I need to find some ways to attract more female customers and make them feel comfortable in my store. Well, if that's all you're worried about, maybe I could try bringing in some female business for you. I'm pretty good at appealing to the feminine mind if I do say so myself. For real? You do that for me? That would totally save my heart. If you're serious about helping, well, I hate to ask, but would you pass these flyers out to girls around town? Specifically girls who seem like they get anime, passionate and bubbly. They're the key to good sales. Got it. I'll come back after I spread the word. Thank you so much. I really appreciate the help. Uh, Saki? Is this really the time to be volunteering for a marketing job? It's fine. It might even be related to the delusions in some way. And it gives us a good excuse to talk to people. Saki? Pretty sure that girl's a bona fide otaku. All right, score! Let's give her one of the flyers. Excuse me, but you seem troubled. Is everything okay? Everything is not okay. I thought she was my friend, dog. She knew how much I love my sweet crimson plum. But then she went ahead and did it anyway. She just popped onto her sock puppet account and started clipping how much bigger a fan she is. Cold F. Am I right? Ugh. Just thinking about it makes me so, 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 so angry. Crimson Plum? Sock puppets? Asahi, explain. Crimson Plum is a popular anime hero, and sock puppets are secret secondary online accounts used for nefarious ends. Oh, okay then. I was the one who introduced her to him, me, and now this? What in the ever-loving fudge is her major malfunction? So, this Crimson Plum, what kind of character is he? Oh, he's just the cutest! The cutest, dog! He's the eldest son of seven kids, and... Uh, Saki, this seems like it could go on for a while. How about we give her the flyer in Vamoose? Yeah, that sounds like a plan. Hey, I don't suppose Crimson Plum's on this flyer anywhere, is he? Huh? What flyer? Oh, yes! That's him right there! That's my husbando! Wait, does this shop have the limited edition figurine of him in stock? Yo, that's like super mega ultra rare! Hmm, maybe it's overstock from canceled pre-orders. All I know is, if you want it, now's your chance. Whoa, for realsies? I need to get over there like yesterday. Never thought I'd be able to find my boy in figure form. Thanks for the Joho dog. This will show the world who the real Crimson Plumber is. Oh. Well, that was certainly a thing. What I tell you, this is, as they say, my jam. What do you think? Should we check the place out? Um, well, I do kind of want to, but like... Those two seem promising. Let's go talk to them. Excuse me, you two wouldn't happen to be into figurines, would you? Huh? Uh, well... See, we heard that this place just started selling figurines of the characters from our favorite anime. Right, but... We've never been to a figurine shop before, and we're a little skeeved. These places are such boys' clubs, right? Oh, I know what you mean. But if that's all that's bothering you, never fear. Instead, here, take one of these flyers. 
What's this now? This shop is trying to expand to the female fan base. The owner wants it to be a no pressure, fun kind of place. about this place. Thanks so much. We look forward to seeing you there. Nailed it! A twofer even! You've got the business smile down, Pat, that's for sure. Yeah, I'm kind of used to it at this point. Used to it? Take a good look at the figurines, then see if you change your tune. When they're done well, they're art. You don't understand. You, you won't even give them a chance. Yeah, yeah. But those characters with their skimpy outfits, the stores that sell them are totally just boys' clubs. It's all just a bunch of pervy junk. Why would I want to take a good look at crap like that? Uh, would you listen to yourself? So close-minded. Let's go talk to those two, shall we? Time out, you two. Who the- First off, here. Take one of these, both of you. Huh? What's this? Some kind of flyer? <gasps> it's got an opal plum figurine on it! This store is working hard to be a one-stop destination for all the kinds of figurines women enjoy. Oh, no kidding! I had no idea there was a place like this around here. See, I told you. Figurines for women are all the rage lately. You're all about Opal Plum, right? You want to go take a look together? Yeah, I guess so. If they've got Opal Plum figurines there, they can't be all that bad. All right, that's what I'm screaming. <laughs> um, thank you. This could be the start of something beautiful and it's all because of your flyer. Not at all, thank you. We look forward to seeing you at the store. Nice job. Yeah, and we bagged a guy customer while we were at it too. Whew. The last flyer has found a home. Nice work. A little too nice, in a way. How come you're so good at this again? I didn't actually say, but it's because I do this kind of thing a lot at my part-time job. Huh? You have a job? Yep. I work at a sports bar on my days off from school. It's a pretty popular place. We have so many customers, I guess I'm just used to meeting demands and schmoozing. Hmm. Interesting. Probably also doesn't hurt that the place's uniform is super cute, though. But never mind that. Considering your chosen profession, I imagine all this work talk isn't really doing it for you. In other words, take some time and find a job, dingus. Hey, you're a pretty neat-like little thing yourself. I don't see you working. Being adorable is my job, I'll have you know. I'll show you adorable, you little... That's enough of that now. Let's head back to the figurine shop and see if business is booming. With all these new customers, the manager ought to be happy as a clam. It's a store! We 
we gonna get slidems? Hey, you're back! Yep, doing good business now, I hope. <laughs> if by good you mean great, then yeah. Thanks to you folks, this place is hopping. We've had a veritable cavalcade of female customers, and figurines are just flying off the shelves. I haven't seen this kind of business in such a long time. I'm so happy, I could cry. That's great. I'm really glad we could be of some help to you. Thank you both so much. I don't know how I could ever repay you. He's sure looking chipper. Mm-hmm. A job well done. And we didn't even have to contend with any weird delusions along the way. As always, Saki is the bestest. Oh, hey. Glad I caught you before you left. This is for you, as a token of my appreciation. Yeah. Hmm? What the heck? Saki, did he just see Pinkoon? That's a good question. Hmm. Must have up and left. Pity. This definitely raises some questions. Oh, well. Forgive a poor figurine man his imagination. I just thought I saw a cute little fairy in here. <laughs> Probably something I ate coming back to haunt me. Anyway, I wanted to give you a token of my thanks. This is for you. Wow, thank you very much. Come again anytime. Because of you, this place is going to do just fine. Hey, am I on figurine shop impossible? <laughs> oh, forget it. Hey, Saki, you don't think that guy could be a deluser, do you? Well, he did notice Pinkoon, so that's a pretty reasonable question. But, eh, uh, I don't think there's anything to worry about. Based on his reaction, I'm sure he's good. Man, are you feeling okay? He was mighty shocked, wasn't he? Pinkoon, you can't just be popping out as you please. You know better. I know, but you could have just pretended I was Sakura Plum. Yeah, that's it. There is no Sakura Plum. Yeah? It's fine, though. Anyway, before we leave, I think I'll go buy a figurine to keep us company. If you get my trip. You? No, no, no. You're not one of those guys, are you? What? No, I'm talking about her. You know. Uh, no, I don't. She who glitters even among the stars above. Pure Venus, your favorite? Oh, that's okay. We don't need her. If you're trying to sell me a painting, I'm not interested. N no, I'm not an art lean, I swear. I just have a question for you. Have you seen a man wearing a pink cape anywhere around here? A pink cape? Oh, it has to be... You've seen him? It has to be some clever scheme to sell me your paintings. <laughs> well, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice. <laughs> Saki, this guy's a dead end. Let's ask around somewhere else. Trail's gone cold, huh? Even Main Street was a bust. Damn it! Where's that bastard hiding? You wouldn't imagine his outfit exactly lends itself to stealth. Let's start our search over from the beginning. No stones unturned this time. But haven't we already turned all of the stones we could? We hit every location there was to hit. You think I don't know that? But there were witnesses, so there's no reason we shouldn't be able to find them. It is quite the mystery. 
Honestly, I'm feeling pretty uneasy about it myself. Yeah, I mean, is the kidnapper some kind of pink-caked invisible man or something? This is ridiculous. Invisible man, huh? Yeah, what about it? So that's why we couldn't find him. And that would explain why all the eyewitness reports stopped at Main Street. What, Blitzaki? Invisibility. Regular people can't see him. Where have you heard that before? Oh, you're absolutely right! Look, I'm getting real tired of being left out of your revelations here. There's one place we didn't look. A place the kidnapper could have taken Moe where no one would be able to find her. Which ties into the one other thing we failed to consider. Why Moe was kidnapped in the first place. That's right! We suspect Moe is responsible for the maid delusion, remember? And if Moe's the deluser here, then her kidnapper may be someone who's aware of her delusion. Which means Moe's in the one place that she can enter that normal people can't. Some place they can't even see, in fact. So, assuming our kidnapper is a deluser himself, it would be a perfect place for him to hide. So if Moe really is the source of the maid delusion, then she'd have no problem entering the delusion scape. I guess that would make sense. The question is, which delusion scape? They could have even gone back to the idle or audio delusion scapes if they wanted. But the trail goes cold on Main Street near Animart, so it would have to be... The Chuni delusion scape, of course! Come on, we've gotta hurry! What about your hang-ups with the hooded man, though? Can we really rescue her if we have to deal with him? The time is right. We've gained all the experience we need to defeat him. Come, let us save the fair maid. And... A clothes shop? Maybe I should try to become a real fashionista. Good as 
safe spot. I could use a breather. Asahi, there! Moi, hey, you all right? The time is not right. Were you the one who kidnapped Moe? If ye wish to judge the events that hath transpired, ye must walk upon the narrow path. Follow ye the vanishing road, and ye may emerge at a return to nothingness. Answer the damn question! My name is Kiyoya Izanagi. I am guardian of the ancient scar, an observer of the clock's ticks. The woman in attendance is uninvited. Take her and depart this place. Uh, what? Poof! He's gone! Huh. Don't you usually have to fight the big story bosses before they bail? I have no idea what most of that meant, but it's clear as day that he wants us to take Moe and get out of here. I don't think he's the kidnapper. It doesn't seem like he has any connection with Moe at all. Hardly any interest, even! Either way, we've got the chance to rescue her, so I suggest we take it. Uh, yeah. Nothing makes any sense right now, but that seems like a good plan at least. <clears throat> Moy, are you okay? Huh? Where am I? And what are you doing here, Master Asahi? Whew. Glad to have you back with us. Do you remember anything? A little. I was handing out flyers in front of the cafe when a master in a pink cape came by and... Um... After that, I'm not... That man in the pink cape kidnapped you, Moe. Then he dumped you here in this delusionscape. Delusionscape? That's what this place is called. Ordinary people can't enter or even see it, in fact. Oh, mistresses. They helped me find you. Thank you all ever so much for coming to my rescue. I feel terrible to have troubled you, though. It was no problem at all, really. The question is, are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? Oh, I'm fine. You needn't worry. That's a relief. There's actually something we'd like to discuss with you. Oh? I'll cut to the chase. What day of the week was it for you yesterday? Huh? Um... Wow, okay. For me, both yesterday and today have been Sunday. There we have it then. I take it you've all been experiencing the same thing? Yeah, it's been Sunday for us for a long time. I don't even remember how many days it's been now. If you notice the time loop, I imagine you've also noticed the strange alterations in the area around your cafe. Well, yes. We've had significantly more masters and mistresses visiting than usual, too. You can attribute that to your delusion. It's the maid boom all over again, complete with a big boost in foot traffic. Your deepest desires have manifested in Akihabara, changing the very fabric of reality as we know it. This is all because of my desires? My delusion? Duh, stop, stop! If you throw every little thing at her at once, you're just going to overwhelm and baffle her. Okay, let's take this one step at a time. Mind if I ask you a question, Moe? If you knew today was repeating, how did you manage to stay so calm? I mean, you could tell at a glance that something was very different around your cafe, right? Yes, I could. It was quite obvious. But there was nowhere to run, and I certainly wasn't about to skip work. Why not? Being stuck in a time loop seems like a reasonable enough excuse. Because no matter what happens, I must create a welcoming environment for all my masters and mistresses to return to. That is my duty. Man, you really are a perfect maid, Moe. The real deal, all the way around. Uh-huh. Even as an idol, I could and should take a page or two out of your book. That's some real passion. B but isn't passion the reason my dream became a delusion and caused all of these problems? It is true that your dream encroached upon reality, yes. But that's where we come in. We're going around trying to smash these delusions. So by, um, smashing them, you stop them from spilling out into real life? Correct. 
But doing so also nullifies the delusion's effects, making it as though none of it ever happened. Everything that happened from the time the delusion first appeared until it was destroyed is erased from people's minds. In a nutshell, everything in Akiba gets reset and life goes back to normal. What do I have to do to destroy it? Huh? You're fine with that? Even though you have so many more customers now? I don't mind. I can win them back with enough hard work anyway. Besides, the way things are, I'm causing trouble for a lot of good masters and mistresses. That's what really hurts. So please, let me help you end this. You sure you're ready for this, Moe? I can see why they put your picture on the sign. I'll be happy to work with you, Moe. Can't argue with that. Not that I would. Just having you around's gonna make me work twice as hard. We might not have you on our team for long, but for as long as we do, glad to have you aboard, Moe. Thank you. I promise that I'll support you to the fullest I possibly can. I like her too. Welcome to the squad! Uh, it, it talked? Sup, I'm Pinku. I'm sorry if he startled you. Let's get moving and I'll explain him as best as I can while we walk. Everybody ready? Let's roll out! Our entrance should be visible now. Sounds good. Time to nullify that delusion. For Moe's sake. I smell trash. Find it, find it, find it. Enemy spotted. If you're going to run, now's your chance. something. They 
are able to get in here. What? Come on, people. There's no time to waste. We need to get to the Made Delusionscape ASAP. Hey! You four! I need to talk to you! <laughs> 